Hello, my loves. Welcome to your love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Pisces, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. What do my Pisces need to know, please, for this Mercury retrograde? This upcoming Mercury retrograde, please. Holy Spirit, what do my Pisces need to know, please? Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides. What do my Pisces need to know about this upcoming Mercury retrograde, please? Holy Spirit. All right, so we've got the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. We have the Moon, Cancer, Piscean energy. We have the Five of Cups and the Fool, Four of Wands, the Emperor, the Chariot, Cancerian energy. And we have the King of Cups, Piscean energy. King of Wands, Leo Sagittarius, Two of Wands, Nine of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles. So Pisces, what we have here is someone rushing in, expressing how they feel. Okay, um, this person feels bad. This person carries a lot of guilt, and that's ultimately what Mercury retrograde does, right? It it makes those those feelings bubble up, so that we come in and fix it to gain closure. Okay, so this person I feel is going to take that risk or come forward to tell you how sorry they are, how regretful they are. It could be an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, um, possibly an Aries, but they're coming forward. Okay. Um, I feel like this person is already committed elsewhere. I have to be honest. I feel like this person is already committed elsewhere, but they're still going to decide to come towards you, Pisces. They're still going to decide to come towards you. And I feel like what's happening here now is there may be a spark between you and this person because now someone here has to make a decision on what they want. Do they want to leave something behind? Do they want to leave someone out in the cold? Do they want to pursue this? Okay. So I feel like someone wants to just come in with a simple apology to tell you. I, I don't really feel like this person comes in with the expectation to reconcile, but something sparks between you guys and now someone has to make a decision as to what they want okay we've got the death card here scorpionic energy the four of cups and the king of swords aquarius gemini libra energy um i feel like your mind is telling you this is over leave this alone you see what i'm saying but we have someone coming in with this beautiful apology and they're so honest and they're so sincere we've got the empress here aries taurus Libra Cancerian energy. So Pisces, this person possibly, you know, it could be that they have a family. This person may tell you the truth that they have a family or that they had a child, right? But it could also be that someone is coming to the awakening that you are their empress. We've got divine feminine, divine masculine, and the four of wands. This could be a twin flame journey, Pisces. That's why everything has been so on and off and rocky, possibly. But I feel like this person maybe is coming in to tell you the truth that you were the one. We've got the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, the Seven of Wands, and the Three of Cups. Um, I feel like maybe it took a long time for this person to come in and ask for your forgiveness, Pisces, because there were third party energies blocking this or stopping it. Um, yeah, see, but they do want forgiveness. I feel like this person does want forgiveness. They do want commitment here, but I feel like you're going to wait to try to figure out the truth of this connection because this ended ugly, Pisces. This ended ugly. This did not end well. I feel like you invested a lot into this connection, but there was love here. There was love here. There is a strong soul tie here. Unfortunately, though, this person was deceptive. This person broke your heart. They may have lied. They may have cheated. There may have been a third party. Um, but I feel like you really worked on this connection. You worked yourself to the bone here. You really, really wanted it to work with this past person. Um, and that's why this ex, you shut them out. You shut them out, Pisces. 
because you really put in too much to be treated that way. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, and I feel like it's going to be very difficult for you to drop the grudge in this connection. Very difficult for you to drop the grudge in this connection. I feel like this person was juggling a pre-empress. Yeah, this person was juggling a pre-empress, which we all know you don't do. All right, because you don't need this person. You've never needed this person. Um, they put you in competition with other people. I feel like you had multiple people. Look at this. We have the Eight of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. I feel like for some of you, you actually had people hitting you up saying, oh, I know where your man was last night. I know where your girl was last night. Like you had third party people hitting you up. I mean, how embarrassing is that? Do you see what I'm saying? So, you know, this person really manifested the end of this connection. This this person really backed you into a corner because, you know, you were really stressed out in this connection. You were really stressed out in this connection. You knew that the right thing to do was to cut this off, but I feel that you gave this person chance after chance after chance because you loved them, okay? Because you love them. Um, because you love them. I feel, though, that this person is coming back around. I feel like you guys walked away from each other, and now they're coming back wanting to fight for this new beginning. I feel like this person tried walking away. I feel like you're doing better than this person, Pisces. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like, because you're coming in as, a, as victorious, and they're coming in as the Page of Wands. You understand? All they have is like a sexy smile and some flirtatious energy. I feel like you're doing better than this person. Do you understand? And I feel like with the Six of Pentacles and the Hierophant here, Pisces, I feel like this person may be coming in to tie you down because they know that you are better than them. They'll never succeed without you. They realize here that you were their lottery ticket. You were the key to their blessings. Do you understand what I'm saying? And now with this Knight of Cups energy, they're coming in with this apology because they know that they hurt you. And I feel like it's going to shock you, Pisces, because you haven't heard from this person in quite some time. You have not heard from this person in quite some time. Um, sorry, guys. One second. Yeah, with the strength card and the star and the eight of pentacles, I feel like you want to reach for this Pisces. I feel like this person is going to spark something in that heart chakra, you know, because you had a lot of hope from this connection when you guys were together. So you may, you know, have that feeling of maybe it'll work this time, but you're holding yourself back because with that devil and that ace of wands and that high priestess, you know that more than likely this person is lying. You know that they're toxic. You know that this person can't keep secrets. Um, the Knight of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles, you know that this person is very possible that they may be coming in because they need money. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, they may be coming in because they need money from you, Pisces. That is another possibility too. Um, I feel like if the, this person is coming back, I feel like, yes, they do want higher levels of commitment with you, Pisces, but I also feel like it's for the wrong reasons. I feel like this person is coming back because they know that abundance lies with you, okay? Um, for many of you, it's financial abundance, okay? Like this person knows that they will have a very comfortable future if they stay with you. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Pisces, please? We have behind a mask the sacred temple and taking steps. So I feel like this person is taking steps towards higher levels of commitment, towards putting this relationship on a pedestal, but behind th th that's what they're showing you at face value. Behind their mask, behind their face value, this person has a whole different concept here. We've got second chakra, healer of the ages, and fourth chakra. This person wants to heal this connection. They want to heal your heart space. They want to come in and tell you that they love you. They're going to come in with a lot of romance and communication, um, and they're going to fight for it. Okay, they're going to fight for it, all right? Um, and they're going to fight for it. 
I just don't feel like this person. So, I mean, I want to make it clear. This person is really will willing to put their best foot forward. They are looking for marriage. They are they they will love you. They will treat you right and all this other stuff. They're going to fight for it, but I feel the foundation, the root of this connection is coming together for the wrong reasons. Okay? All right, guys. I love you. Bye.